Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video about how to import stuff into your iPad Pro. And when I say stuff, I mean specifically photos and videos. So when Apple announced the iPad Pro, they also said that they're going to include USB-C on the bottom. So here it is, that's the USB-C port. Uh, when this was announced, people were raving about it. This was meant to be the port. This was meant to be the port to rule them all, the one port to rule them all. You were the chosen one! But unfortunately, the software in iOS uh, really lets this down. They really nerf the functionality of this in the software. So as of right now, iOS 12, what you can really import is just photos and videos. So actually during the keynote, they demonstrated importing videos from a camera, uh, this specific camera uh, actually, so the a7 III. So I'm just gonna quickly demo that just to get a refresher on how this works. So make sure the camera is on, uh, grab your camera, and open the side port, grab your trusty USB-C cable. So on this particular camera, it has USB-C, which is really nice. So I plug that in, one end to your camera, the other end into your iPad. And then give a couple of seconds and then the photos app basically loads almost immediately so if this doesn't happen just make sure on your camera you have your camera set to mtp mode for this particular camera um, this was set in auto so make sure you flip it from auto to mtp see the led light is flashing so it is trying to read the photos on your camera give it a few seconds uh, and then the photos on your camera start appearing on the ipad and then you can choose the photos you want and then you can tap import and then after a couple of seconds the photos will appear in your camera roll now I think everyone's here to see how this works with an Android device. So, let's get this camera unplugged. So I have here a Pixel 3 XL. So this is Android, that is iOS. These things are never meant to work well together. And let's just see what happens when we plug it in. So if you plug it in, uh, at the top, if you drag down the notification shade, you will see that it says charging this device via USB. Not particularly useful if you're trying to get stuff, you know, from your phone to your iPad. Uh, you can tap this and then choose file transfer. So this is the one that most people do. If you are trying to transfer files to a computer, for example, you would tap this. Now you notice that the iPad flipped to import, but even if you give this five, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, uh, nothing really happens. It, it isn't able to read the photos or videos. The trick is to use PTP. So PTP stands for photo transfer uh, protocol, I believe. Uh, so file transfer doesn't work, but this actually does. So if you flip it to PTP, the Photos app will reload on your iPad. And then after a few seconds, you see all these things start showing up. So these are all the photos on my on my phone. So there is a lot, there's a lot of them. There's stuff since 2017. But if you go to the very bottom, uh, you'll see that the thumbnails slowly start populating. But this is a video that I have just, ta just taken uh, on my phone. So let's just tap that one choose import, uh, import selected. And then you see here at the top right hand corner, import complete, oh, that's pretty fast. So let's just keep the file on the phone for now. And then if we go back to photos, and then at the very bottom here, this is the, uh, the video that I just took. Uh, and then you can see that transferred straight from the pixel to the iPad, which is amazing. So if you do use your phone to take photos or videos and you want to get them on your iPad to edit them, you know, edit them in Lightroom for example, or, or if you do video stuff and you want to use LumaFusion to do some video editing, which is what I do. Uh, I use the phone as a B cam sometimes and then uh, my A7 III is the main camera and I need to merge the footage. So yeah, this makes it really easy to get stuff from your phone to your iPad for whatever purpose you need. So. Um, just to summarize, make sure you flip the phone to PTP and then it should start showing up on the Photos app on your iPad. So I hope this was useful and uh, thanks for watching.